the price point is the number one uh, reason why people would not consider EV. Second, no personal experience. Mm -hmm. right? So I love that you came in a car, Volkswagen is promoting people, just give it a try right? and rent it yeah, for a day or two or yeah. a week or yes, two, yeah. right? And that's the way. Hello back uh, to the VWID podcast. Uh, I'm here with a special guest, Jan Staniak, also known as Electrodad, here in the in Europe, Czech Republic, Czechia. And he has an amazing outcome. He wants to, he started talking about electromobility because he wants to convert million people, their mindset to go electric and to think about sustainability. So Jan, we, it's, we are so glad to have you. Thank you. And uh, what led you to uh, this passion for electromobility and convincing people, helping people? Yeah, I started in uh, shooting videos about electromobility and I have uh, published 800 of those um, in, in Czech language for, for the local market uh, in 2019 because we, we got our first EV, which was uh, Nissan Leaf in 2018. And what led me to that was that uh, I worked for a, a tech company Czech company which had uh, 90 employees in China so I was in two and a half for two and a half years in uh, China uh, in a city called Nanking Nanjing which used to be uh, the the capital city of, of China for six dynasties and first half of uh, 20th century 13 million people uh, we were there 2009 to 2012 and a a lot of pollution a lot of pollution and so and, and when we went there with the whole family uh, at the time we had two small girls two years four years and and for two and a half years you, it makes you think that this is armageddon <laughs> it's, it, this is not right uh, something either something bad will happen or we change that um so and then, then you come you come back to europe and suddenly you see blue skies and clear water and you know the, the quality of life all that but then you realize Mm, wait a minute, uh, the, 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 the Czech Republic is, does a lot of industry as well. And when we came, we, uh, the, the emissions, the CO2 equivalent emissions per capita in Czech Republic was double to an average Chinese. Whoa. And all the stuff we are buying, right, or not all the stuff, but a lot of stuff we are buying is made in China, right? So who the hell, whose uh, pollution is that? Is it Chinese pollution or our pollution? Because we actually consume, we just outsource the manufacturing as well the uh, the, the pollution, right? So yes, that, that was the long story how I got to this topic. So we, we got an EV and photovoltaics on our roof, and suddenly, uh, so in this in this uh, part of the world, around eight to nine months per year, you know, we have winters, right? And then the, the skies are not quite, uh, you know, it's shorter days and. and uh, dark skies during the, the winter, but, but eight to nine months, uh, months per year, we, we get we can you know, power the, the our EVs uh, with homemade electricity, which is f fabulous. Exactly. So you're almost your electrons in the car are yeah. yellow, as homemade. we joke about yeah. our <laughs> homemade. Yeah, yeah. That is awesome. And so when you think about uh, the first or people kind of embracing this concept of electromobility, um, yes, of course, it is to solve the pollution problem is to solve the, the emission problem um, but um, it's it's also on the on the other hand as a by design the the ride for us who have been riding electric cars is better it's, it's much much smoother uh, those cars are quieter there, there are no vibrations so there are of course pros for the environment and for you as an owner and a driver absolutely now what is the typical um, pushback that you're seeing that you're feeling from people who are not sure about electromobility and mm -hmm. how do you uh, explain uh, how do you show them the EV way hmm. I think there's two main obstacles one is the price mm -hmm. of electric vehicles in this in this part of the world um, with the mid-size and, 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 and larger cars the, there's basically price parity right the, the EVs are for the same price but we, we in Europe we tend to have smaller cars at right, hatchbacks and in that segment, like Volkswagen Golf size, right? And in that segment, you don't have enough competition and therefore you are not at price parity mm -hmm. yet. So the price point is the number one uh, uh, reason why people would not consider EV. Second, 
no personal experience, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So, so I love that you came in a car which actually you know, Volkswagen is promoting people just give it a try, right? For yeah. a very reasonable yeah. price, yeah. or even for free, or what I don't know, a very reasonable price probably. You can rent it yeah, for a day or two or yeah. a week or yes. two, yeah. right? And that's the way. That's yeah. the way. Yeah. Uh, so the more people try it, the more you will realize, that, yeah, like. It was great. All the combustion engine cars were great. That was this this innovation of 20th century. It brought all the freedom and all the you know the modern society as we know. But it's over. It's over. It's like once you, once you experience. So I just came in this um, uh, Audi A6 e-tron, right? The, the newest one, which is high tech, right? 800 volt architecture. Yeah, premium car. platform electric. Exactly. The newest, uh, I, I did first whatever 70 miles. That's incredible. It's just, it has such a low consumption. So I couldn't believe it. And, and we have the high speed. The the we go how much when it goes? It's like 70, 75 miles per, uh, per hour on oh, one thirty on, on the highway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I got like I I, I did around eighty eight, let's say, miles per hour, and it was just like incredible. Mm -hmm. uh, the how low the consumption is, and the car. I, there's a beautiful audio in it. Mm -hmm. I turn on my like favorite music, and I, I turned off. It's like I I'm just in this. Zen Buddhist, uh, yeah. Zen Buddhist, you know, mode, yeah. mode exactly, yeah. and I'm just moving my body through the the time and space yeah. with absolute like the, the the only thing I could hear was the music. Yeah, right. There's no vibrations. Like just oh, like once you experience this, there's no way back. There's no way back. I I totally hear you. Uh, I gave a uh, ride to my friend. Uh, he has a uh, TDI. Just everybody has a diesel uh, in in Europe, right? So he's driving uh, a very nice. Uh, um, a4 touring mm -hmm. and I drove him with this and he's like well that's so quiet that is beautiful wow I didn't realize that and then uh, of course we did the uh, 0 to, to 90 uh, yeah. kilometers per hour he's yeah. like well that's incredible so I totally agree that yeah, also the elasticity of, yeah. of, uh, of the motor right the electric yeah. motor right it's just uncomparable yes. I, I, I two weeks ago I first time in my life because when when, when it, so for, for the past seven years it's over like I have like 250,000 miles in electric vehicles wow, for the past seven years, lot. yes. Wow. Uh, so I've never driven a diesel SUV in my life. And I, I did it first time two weeks ago and I was like, I, it, it felt it felt dangerous because you have the, 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 uh, the center of gravity is so mm -hmm. high. Yeah. So when you go to a curve, right, it's like, yeah. oh, it, it what is this, this? You know, yeah, I felt like insecure, uh -huh. yeah. insecure. It was so loud. Mm -hmm. And whenever I wanted to take over a car, it, even though it was like 2.4 liter or whatever, it was like on paper, it's powerful. Yeah. In reality, yeah. with the automatic gear shift, yeah. like I just pressed the pedal and, and, and somehow didn't know what to do that yeah. thing. And it, it didn't yeah. Yeah. It has like, to figure out, oh, I need to downshift. Okay, let like, me count uh, one, two. But with this car, yeah. right, it's just, it Instant. happens. It just yes. happens. You don't need to think about it. It's it's just you, it, it it the 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 user experience is simply incomparable. It is. I totally agree with you. Totally agree with you. So, give it a try uh, from your local dealer. Uh, check uh, what are the the options to rent an EV and take it home. Just don't drive around the block because it doesn't it doesn't give you the experience. You need yeah. to try it in your daily life, yeah, yeah, including charging it in the garage, for example, and so. On. So that was the one one big thing that people say about electric cars. And another one I'm, I'm hearing quite popular, uh, quite high on the list is, oh, there's not enough public charging spots. Mm -hmm. I, I cannot, when we drive once a year to Croatia, or we recently drove with my wife from Seattle uh, to uh, a thousand miles down south to California in an EV. And it was an absolute, absolute effortless. And that was in the US and I, I believe a similar situation is well, here. here is super simple. Super simple. Super yeah. simple. We have 800,000 uh, public chargers across Europe. Mm -hmm. uh, we have the network which is standing behind one, yeah. right? Yeah. We have the network of, of these uh, ultra fast uh, 350 kilowatt chargers, which tens of thousands of those in, in Europe. It's basically now every like 30 miles on mm -hmm. the highways, mm -hmm. every 30 miles mm -hmm. you can stop and, and uh, uh, ultra fast charge. So I have. I own Porsche uh, Taycan, the, the facelifted one. I, so we have it for 10 months now. In 18 minutes, you're done, wow. right? Wow. And, and it's and like you, 350. And, and, and you go for 300 miles yeah. with this 80 miles per hour, and then you charge for 18 minutes, and then you continue, right? So it's just absolutely like seamless. So so go from whatever Prague to Amsterdam, from mm -hmm. to Paris or to Spain or to south of Italy. You know, it's just a. You know, and 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 I. Uh, so I've showed the videos, right? How how pretty much seamless it is, and 
you can go in July on July Saturday when all these you know millions of Europeans are flowing mm -hmm. through Europe you know mm -hmm. going to the seaside and going back etc and still the charges are free are, free, are, are available, are available wow. Wow. and functioning wow. because the, yeah. the infrastructure is pretty modern mm -hmm. in Europe and the, the prices are you know energy is way more expensive in Europe than, than it would be in the US so that's that's comparable but it's it's uh, just to uh, so it's 40 cents US dollar mm -hmm. cents per kilowatt hour uh, when I use my Porsche card okay. charging okay. card okay 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 right so so it's l technically a little bit cheaper because when I was um, charging on the Electrify America mm -hmm. in the US that's the network that VW has, has built yes, 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 because yes, yes, of uh, Dieselgate yes, yes, yes. and um, the, um, you can prepay a plan mm -hmm. that they give you 25% mm -hmm. discount and that was roughly uh, 45 50 cents depending on, okay. the, on the charging okay. station but I have to say that the, the Porsche card mm -hmm. is one of the cheapest you can have. Yeah, one of the best ones for, for yeah, 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 return yeah. on investment. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. So they have pre-negotiated pricing that it's potentially... Yeah, that's, that, that's, so just like they have, they, they basically are a shareholder of Electrify America, I would say, I would think, Porsche, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. So they are also shareholder of Ionity Network mm. in Europe, right? Okay, so okay. they have a good deal, they have okay. a good deal. Yeah. And then it's like in Europe you have these um, emission, you know, regulatory framework which basically pushing the, the manufacturers every year to um, the, the the fleet of the cars new cars which they sell that that the emissions are lower and lower so they are incentivized to actually uh, sell the, the the EVs the newest cars and therefore they offer a good deal together with it mm -hmm. by the way I got I don't know equivalent of six thousand dollars of worth of charging with the car with on, on a prepaid oh, wow. car okay. Yeah. Okay. That's great. We, we used to have, uh, I, with my ID4, I got three years unlimited charging on Electrify America. Oh. Uh, but of course, I didn't use it that much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but uh, it actually led to the fact that people didn't charge at home as much. Mm -hmm. They were charging at the EA because mm -hmm. it was free. Mm -hmm. And those EA uh, chargers were relatively full. And that time, three years ago, uh, mm -hmm. they had a lot of reliability issues. Mm -hmm. They had to change the, the physical infrastructure. There was like a lot of money that they uh, mm -hmm. spent upgrading this yeah. and fixing it. So I, 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 so we have um, Tesla Model 3 uh, for five and a half years. So that was a US made model. Mm -hmm. And I also have, because I have, um, you know, free miles because of referral programs, mm -hmm. uh, referral program, but it's like, I just charge at home. Yeah, exactly. I just, I don't overuse yeah. it yeah. just yeah. because I, I can, even exactly. though it's free of charge, <laughs> because it also takes some time and, and yeah. also yeah. it's not, you know, it's actually, I think that the latest data or science says that combine the, the, the ultra fast charging with fast charging with slow charging, just do the mix. Mm -hmm. like that's the best yeah, what you yeah, can do yeah, for yeah, the battery. Exactly, exactly. Don't charge eighty yeah. percent every day. Whatever, let it stay at sixty percent. Let it stay at forty percent. Let it stay at thirty percent. It doesn't mm -hmm. matter. And the, 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 the more variety you do for the battery, the better. The better. Yeah, yeah. I, I totally agree. I totally agree. And um, I think that's a great segue to um, if I want, if I'm thinking about electric car and I cannot charge at home or I cannot charge at work, do you think that the EV would be good for me or? Maybe not at this moment. I know it's a hard question, but how would you how would you think about so so that in in this um, country we have first I don't know fifty thousand people driving electric vehicles. I would think that just empiric uh, number would be close to a third of them do not have uh, possibility to charge at home or mm -hmm, at work, mm -hmm. and they still own an EV, mm -hmm, right? Okay. Uh, so uh, the, the the you tend to have your you know, um, during the week, during the day, during the month, you, you are taking certain routes and you start realizing, oh, wait a minute, now we are charging by a shopping mall, yep. right? Yep. And there's a super fast charger here, right? So you, s you stop here for whatever, 30 minutes per week and the battery can be full, mm -hmm. right? So, so, and then, so then you have uh, a school, then you have a municipal municipality, maybe um, a shopping mall, sports center, cinema, whatever. Yeah. There, there are places where the fast charges are. And, and here, this here, where we're standing, right? We have 360 kilowatt charger, 150 charger, and 50 kilowatt charger, mm -hmm. right? So if you do for a long shopping and you know you will be with the family here for two hours, you just put it on the 50, on the 50 one, right? That's, that's smart, that's fine. You know, yeah. and, and, and your mobile phone more up tells you, right? Oh, yeah. it's full charge, just, yeah. just, just move it to yeah, different yeah, parking yeah, yeah. spot. Yeah. So, so um, but one thing is that if you do a very low annual mar mileage, I would, ch and, and you don't you don't have uh, charger at home at or at work, I would tell you wait, mm -hmm. 
right way. Mm -hmm. Maybe in a year or two, your your company will actually provide the charging yeah. or will, yeah. will you yeah. give, give the, the possibility, right? There's uh, two electric cars coming and they both are going to charge at 50 kilowatt, mm -hmm. not at the faster mm -hmm. ones, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So they, they yeah. probably go there for a reason. For it's a little reason. bit cheaper, yeah. Yeah. but it probably has a reason that they have the reason that it will probably stay longer. They Therefore, they don't to have lunch or something yeah. or yeah. some food. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. so it is possible. And, and I know people who, who would do 40,000 miles per year and they don't have ability to charge at home oh, and they right. still do that, right? That they just, yep. Yep. They just, you just, uh, at the same time, with such a mileage, you, you do have to change your lifestyle a little bit mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. if, especially if you work, you know, on your notebook, etc., you simply spend some time on a charger and it just, you don't need to wait and it's like, <laughs> how long does it take, right? But you can, you can just, yeah, yeah you, you will just blend it into your yeah, life, yeah, like yeah. a very seamless experience. Yeah, yeah. Totally, totally agree. Thank you, Jan. This, this was a great discussion. We have one question for every guest. What drives you? What drives your passion every day? That's a, that's a uh, nice question. So I had this major like life um, anniversary. I was 50 and I, I feel super, super happy, healthy, loving, uh, and I do super meaningful work. So it's a combination of all, you know, that definitely, you know, a car would be, you know, somewhere like a number 12 on a <laughs> point of, of things, which makes me, you know, uh, fulfilled or happy in my life. So what drives me? Yeah, I, I, uh, I, I think we, um, you know, that we spend some time in our life to make sure that we have all the, you know, things we would like to have, like a family and, you know, house and car, etc. But then, you know, once you turn 40 plus, you start to think it's like, okay, what can I do which is bigger than myself, right? Well, how, how can I do meaningful things, which I took care of myself and, our, and the family, so what else can I do, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And then, so for me, it was that I started to shoot those videos and, and, and uh, I'm glad. So they were, you know, I, I, my content is like, uh, is more, um, I'm not an entertainer, right? It's, it's more about going deep in the subject mm -hmm. and it was mm -hmm. pretty much for the, uh, for the early adopters. Like those who think about the world and you know want to know details and and but like I would think that for most of us the car tend to be the second uh, pricier mm -hmm. thing we actually yeah. acquire yeah. buy right yeah. that's the house and then the car right and then and so so my videos are like 40 minutes easily right and it's like and, but, but I thought you know if you're serious about getting the car you don't mm -hmm. mind to watch yeah, a 40 minute time. video right exactly. because it's, you're serious Maybe about you and and this is like a new tech you don't have experience with it so a guy who has done hundreds of thousands of miles in EVs telling you something that maybe okay that's interesting so so that drives me right yeah yeah so so but in my in my videos I will be more and more talking about innovations which will actually help humankind um, to cope with the challenges which are coming mm -hmm. you know artificial intelligence <laughs> robotization <laughs> geopolitics we have the wars we climate change etc so I would be positive that that as a, as a humankind we would uh, we will make these you know, uh, turns and yeah, yeah, yeah. We will uh, take those turns, but it will, it may, it may not be that easy. <laughs> in your change scum. is rarely easy. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, thank this you, was yeah. this was a great discussion. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. So please uh, like and subscribe and uh, share your uh, thoughts and feedback down below. Thank you. Bye.